Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube. It is again that I'm going to try to explain certain things in the uh, paintings that uh, everybody's been talking about. For those who are just joining in and are unaware, this is the Mona Lisa. This is a lost painting that's just been found uh, within the last uh, century <laughs> by myself, which is the older Mona Lisa. It is 55 solid years of Leonardo da Vinci's work, and I'm going to prove it to the world. My findings. If you really look at the Mona, it's a young person. And look at her hands. Very young. If I was to give a, a guess, uh, 14 to 17 years old. This woman, I would put at 40s, 50s. At least. She's beautiful and uh, she has the same dress wear as the Mona. If you actually overlay the Mona exactly over the top, she fits perfectly. If you take a look at some of Leonardo da Vinci's other works, you will find that he uses the point and finger quite often. If you look at Sal uh, Sali, um, his, uh, one of his uh, individuals that lived with him uh, one year before his passing, he looks extremely close to him, if not him. I'm still working on some of the facts, but uh, um, my my beliefs, right this time, I'm going to hold to myself on, but show you the findings. If you cut this out in general, like a woman would cut out for a um, a dress, this and then have it reduced, it will come out to this image here, which is like a skull. In the eye of the Mona Lisa, her right eye. which I always point to both because they're both Monas. Um, it's about the size of a Lincoln head penny. The top of his hair, not the backside, is the size of my woman's eye. Extremely small. So I'm going to sit here and try to do what I hope to without making any mistakes because I've done no editing whatsoever out of all my YouTubes. They've been straight up as you can see so I'm a uh, I'm new at this. First of all let's let's go to the beginning. This is an image inside my painting. This image is actually weaves that have been blown up on a super high end camera that I had eight hour photo shoot. Um, it is combined weaves. Now I'm going to open this up. And the reason why I'm getting into this is because it's called a build. And as you can see, the paint in this corner. Now, as you see through here, some of the chippings. And so I had it shot, and I've been examining every micro of this painting of mine. Now, I couldn't even make a story up on this. So I'm going to show you, and let's see what happens to you if you're going to fall back. Hang on to your phone. <laughs> Hang on to your phone. So now... This is a tit-tat-toe, okay? Each one of these, tic-tac-toe, okay? 
okay, in the sense of it's just cross, 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 cross. I'm going to blow it up. And what do you see? Really look at these images. What do you see? Well, for those who really don't know what they're really, really looking at, I'm going to give you some ideas. That's a little face. It's a little black face. It's actually an eye, an eye, and a nose. This is a body with an arm out, an arm out, and a head off this side. These, these, these pieces move in different angles. These little lines, okay, are stitching. You're, you're not going to believe some of, the, some of the items. I have his tools in my painting. Okay, this is a horse head. An eye, an eye, nose. But on the tip of the nose, he builds a little cartoon with a guy or another ho uh, a, a ho horse. If you actually look at some of these images that you think you see, here's a nose and what? Top hat with another person. What he does to make the canvas stronger, he knits it. Okay, let me see if I can get bigger. Okay, he knits it. Here's a woman's face right here with a beautiful big hairdo with other images in it. An eye, an eye, a nose. Okay, now we're talking, this has got to be, oh, let's see, um, each line here is a smaller than a hair so, or so, and these images are built on top of it. Now, I'm going to get my hand here, and this should be a fairly long YouTube, so if you're into studying, see, here's another image he started on, like a cow or something, if you see. Now, these are areas. Now, I have a, a good notion of trying to tell you why he did it. It's called a build. The higher you build in the direction for a mountain, a mountain. In other words, let's say that's the high part, and this is lower and lower and lower, and then the light, the other colors are even lower. Not only does the shadows and the builds change the image in every single way when you open it up, um, uh, it, you know, it gives it life. Look at this. Now this is. This is on the green coming out, see? Now, he, he put his colors on the green. This is one of his transparencies. An eye, an eye, a nose, and then on the nose, he made a person. But that's another repeat of the other one in which I showed you. He's a copy machine. Trust me, he's a copy machine. I'll get that. Here's, look at this. Here's a beautiful one. Oh, my goodness. Here's his feet. Here's his legs. Here's a long, slinky body with an eye and an eye with another eye and an eye and a nose on top, with a person on top, and it goes endless. He makes these cartoons. He makes cartoon people look like they don't know what cartoons to make. He's also got a long rabbit, you know, a nice slinky behind right here, with the feet uh, kind of tippy-toe sticking on out. That's the way he is. And then when you look at, the, see, so he uses this as a build. One image, this image, now this image and this image, look how far apart they are. There's a person in here. There's, okay, and then if you look at the main piece, here's one of the crisscross webs. He uses this with an arrow to make a horse head. And that's the way it, it, it is. Um, it's really, really, really cool. Um, over here is another smaller wedge as you can see and uh, it goes more and more and more interesting so is isn't that really really neat guys growls kids I uh, I love teaching some of the stuff look at this look at that that is a knitted image on top of his canvas that he does for builds. Look at that. Look at that beautiful woman right in here. A big old long looking like wedding dress. Okay, but you got to understand it's not just one image. There's an image here and there's an image here. It's a build on a build on a build on a build. And here's a guy over here. 
looking at them. Okay, the same. And look at this. You got another. It gets wild. I mean, I have fallen in love with this painting and the person that did this work for the talent, the ability that God has given this person on earth. So we're going to eliminate this. So you can see another cartoon here. Smiling face, eye, sitting here. He makes little lines. Reminds me of my father. Oh, rest his soul. Now I'm going to zip this one out. And I'm going to show you. Oh, just before I zip it out. Now, I want to show you something. It's going to be hard to, to prove, but, uh, but, but I, I've seen it because I've gotten deep into it. Okay, not only here, here's, here's a woman right here. But these, I thought they were openings and portholes into the, 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 the looseness of the web. <laughs> I've seen deeper and deeper and deeper on my $35,000 monitor, which blew up uh, about six months ago. And inside was like a person in a closet with another person behind them looking through. He does not know when to quit, and I do not either. I did this whole deal with uh, for the passion of love, and that's uh, what I call my book, Passion of Love. Now, if you actually look at this, here's a head, here's a head, and they're laying. See? Okay, it's it's really really trip. And if you really get into wanting to see, let me see if I can get this to be opened up as one big piece before I close out. Let's see if you can see it. Let me see. Let me see. It's been a long time. It's been about hmm, a year before I've gotten into uh, some of these other images that excite me on uh, the. Um, magnificence that we have extremely talented people that have lived on this earth look at this look at that I mean that's that reminds me of my dog looking at me an eye and eye and a nose and a face okay it's not a portrait he was he was having fun you can't say that's not a face an eye and an eye the mouth, that's the images. Now, just remember what I might see and you don't because of uh, shooting off of uh, a 4K screen. Unfortunately, it's a 4K screen. I'm looking for a 16K supercomputer I'm going to get. Uh, and I hear uh, uh, the UK, Europe, uh, and I'm going to get one. I'm, I'm, somebody give me one. Watch. I mean, I have to get a GoFundMe uh, thing. I'm hoping somebody will jump in. This is something I want to do. I want to go around teaching what what they have been missing. Now, uh, in in uh, Leonardo da Vinci's work, I've broken a lot of his codes. I'm going to zip out of that for you to know. Now, again, that image was down in here. Okay, and it may have been over here in some of these little spots. Now, here's another one that I want you to see. It is a knitted one. Now, I'm going to be going back to these in other YouTubes because it's just too little of time. But <laughs> this is his tool. <laughs> I, I love this, man. I'm telling you. This is so cool. I got about a dozen... Uh, you always over-exaggerate. At least a half a dozen to a dozen. I, I, I really stopped counting about uh, three years ago. This black line is what he used to knit his, his, his knitting. This canvas, my opinion, is probably so strong you could pull a car. 